a Asana vs ClickUp. Hey guys, today I'm going to be comparing the free version of Asana and ClickUp and how they stack up. So let's get into it. First off, we're going to compare the features and then we are going to move on to the platforms to see what they actually look like. So for Asana, first off on the free version, you get unlimited essentials. So you can create unlimited projects, tasks, activity log, storage, and comments. After that, you have three basic views. So you have list views, board views, and calendar views. Then you have basic workflows. So you can have free integrations with over a hundred apps, including uh, some of the basic ones and some time tracking apps as well. After that, you have a status update in Asana and you also get export projects PDFs or CSVs. After that, you have a 15 user limit in Asana. So if your team has more than 15 people, you won't be able to use the free version of Asana because you can only have 15 people within work, one workspace. In comparison to ClickUp, where you get unlimited tasks, so that's the same as Asana, you get five workspaces. Uh, now, some people might think this is limiting, but I think five workspaces are sufficient enough for your team to work in. I don't find it to be any less because I do personally click up and I haven't ever felt like five spaces are too little for me to work in. Now you also get unlimited custom views. So that is the first difference between Asana and ClickUp is you get only three basic project views, but on ClickUp you can have unlimited views. And that is something that can be a huge game changer in terms of your priorities. So if visual representation of your work is important to you, you might want to opt for ClickUp. Now ClickUp provides you with 100 MBs of file storage. That is pretty decent. After that, you get privacy and sharing. You can add guests, but they will have full access. So you can't add read only guests in Asana or ClickUp. So that's the same for both. After that, you can create custom fields for over a hundred users. And in advanced settings, you can add a hundred uses of portfolios and a hundred uses of goals. You also have doc views. You have a hundred uses of mind maps and dashboards. And also a very good feature is a hundred automations a month. So Asana doesn't provide you with any of the automated workflows in the free version, but ClickUp provides you with a hundred uses of automation. So you can add a hundred automations each month. And I think uh, for a team that is just getting started, a hundred automations per month are more than enough for you to um, automate your workflow and optimize the speed and productivity of your work. So after that, you also have API calls, you have map views, you have timeline views, you have sub works in multiple lists, sprint points, you get Gantt charts, you get milestones, you get proofing, you also get to add dependencies, you have real time collaboration, and you also have emailing and within ClickUp. Now, it provides you with 50 native integrations and time tracking as well. You also have Zapier and Targer and Google Drive. Uh, yeah, so you can't integrate your Google Drive within ClickUp. So that is something to keep in mind, but you can't integrate these two apps. However, Asana provides you with more integration uh, capabilities and you can add more integrations in Asana as compared to ClickUp. So in terms of customer support, you get 24 seven hour customer support, but you know, that's, that's just a very basic kind of customer support. They aren't really that efficient, I'm gonna be honest and you get two-factor authentication on both of these applications. So now that we have discussed their basic features and how they differ from each other, let's move on to their platforms. Now, first off, this is what Asana looks like as a basic platform. So over here, you can only have a list view, a board view, or a timeline view. And if I want to open any other of these views, I will have to become a um, premium member or a paid member. After that, you can see I have my tasks and if I click on a task it's going to pop up from the right side and these are my task details I can assign it I can add subtasks and then I can just view it and add a update or a comment after that you can see there there are due dates and then you can mark things as completed as well now uh, after a task, you can have different sections, like we have different sections in this board and within a task, we have subtasks and you can mark off subtasks before they are uh, completed. So let's say we have this exercise one. If we have completed a subtask, but not the entire task, we can just mark this off and this will be marked as complete and it will be reduced in the number of subtasks over here. Now you can like this to add it in your likes and view it wherever you are. You can add attachments, you can add more subtasks, copy the link, and then you can add some, you have some more task features and that's about it. 
Now for your home settings, you can see this is what the home page for your Asana profile will look like. You have different workspaces you can create and that's the good part of Asana. You can create as many as you want. So no matter how much trial and error you are doing, you can just create more workspaces and uh, get to figure out the platform very easily. After that, you can see on the left, there's the My Tasks option and I find this very helpful and it's something that ClickUp does not have. Um, it doesn't have it as visually present as Asana does and this allows you to track all of your tasks in a list board or calendar form and you can see everything that has been assigned to you and this will help you monitor your own personal work and you don't have to open each of your workspaces to start on your work you can just view your my tasks and get started with your day now moving on to the clickup platform and how that is going to function and look like first off this is the clickup platform you can see this is our workspace so this is our workspace and this is a individual board within our workspace if i want to create another board i can just click on this and click on new list i can just click on AP math and now i have created two boards within a singular workspace so with this option you can really create as many boards as you want on the free version and you don't have to be limited by the workspace at all but some people prefer to have a entirely different workspace and that is a understandable request too now for customization within a workspace now you can add a section and a task within a workspace just the same as a sauna so let's just say so we've added homework and you can see we have a board view over here as well. We can add another status so we can color it as we want. Maybe we want it to be pink and we can rename it to in progress like this. Now you can see I've added a in progress version. And now if my homework or any task that I'm doing is in progress, I can move it over here. And then when it is complete, I can move it over here. And these are available in the list forms as well but it's easier to use the board version as compared to the list, I must say. I find the board view so, so, so much easier to use. Now, in other views that are not provided by Asana, you can see I'm gonna open up some more views on ClickUp because that is one of ClickUp's biggest, biggest positive I've noted that it's the biggest plus point in using ClickUp. It's the very beautiful views that you get and that can really help you optimize the workflow within your team or your company. Now you can see this is a basic board view. After that you have your Gantt view so that is a basically a timeline view. You can see it over here. You can expand the calendar and minimize the task to get a more detailed look at your calendars and you can click on your um, click on the date to schedule a task and move the task and extend it to a certain date. And now you can even add dependencies and automations within here. And it's very easy to add automations from the Gantt chart. Now let's say we add another task over here and we're gonna, we're gonna move to Gantt and let's move our revision over here. So we're going to create this over here. Now you can see we've created revision within this weekend and we're gonna expand it like this. And now to create a dependency, we're just going to click on this dot and we're going to move it to revision. And now you can see we can only do revision if the homework has been completed on its due date. So this is a very, very, very nice and efficient feature that I like to use in ClickUp that Asana does not have. So if you want a more visually appealing platform, it's definitely ClickUp. Now, if we take a look at mind maps as well, you can see... This is just, I've only entered like two data points. So this is just a very basic look at a mind map, but you can get a very detailed mind map of all your tasks, all your functions, uh, all the things that are going to happen within your workspace on here. And this is just a very good option if you are a manager or a supervisor and most of your work revolves around actually just keeping up to date and uh, keeping track of how things are going. Now for the homepage of click up you can see this is the home page and below the home page is the my work section now i find it okay but i don't like this that their personal uh, design for the my work section i don't like it but it is functional it's nice it's it's okay but i prefer this definitely on asana i find this layout far more easier to understand and use 
Now you can see in the my work section you have a to do, you have a comments, you have a completed work and you have a delegated work as well. So below that you have your notifications, you have your pulse. So the pulse feature is basically not your your timing or the amount of work you're doing online and what someone else is doing on your team as well if they are online or if they are offline you can monitor that as here over here as well and then you can add goals on ClickUp as well now goals you will have to add manually and really have to track the progress manually as well but it is still a pretty decent feature to use on ClickUp Overall, I think both are good project management softwares and the free versions on both are pretty good, but I definitely would say that I prefer ClickUp over Asana. I think the overall functionality and user interface is far more appealing and it's far easier to work in if you're using ClickUp. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to choose your project management software more easily. I will catch you guys in the next video.